5,000 years ago there was not a large difference between the cavemen and cavewoman. Due to harsh living conditions and lack of medicine these early humans had higher pain thresholds than their modern descendants. This fact was never more obvious than the cave woman's groin. After much abuse and birthing of litters, the ancient woman's crotch was the strongest thing of its time. Though, that's not to say that the cavemen didn't have balls of steel. Many cavemen constantly found themselves in situations that would make the modern man squeamish. These old beasts would constantly damage their junk without a care in the world. If this were to keep up, however, it would have surely spelt the end of mankind. Mother Nature, tired of having animals treat her like a port john after a hot dog eating contest and wanting a species intelligent enough to invent the toilet, decided to step in and let evolution find an answer. Thus, the first human with sensitive testicles was born. Humanity was faced with one more threat though. If this warning system was not allowed to be passed on to future generations man would have likely perished. Though that didn't stop the cavemen from laughing their asses off at torturing this poor early creature. Luckily, tired from hunting and gathering, and kicking in balls, the numbnutted numbnuts went home. Miraculously, the bruised bald man survived the beating, suffering only from purple testicles and a hurt ego. He later murdered every other caveman to make sure that an attack like that would never happen again. 4,900 years later, with the innovation of contact sports and man's forgetfulness of the ways of their ancestors, it appeared that scrotums everywhere were in danger of becoming extinct. This time, however, we just invented the cup. A hundred years of coddling and keeping our nads sheltered in plastic have led to a more evolved man. A more caring man. A more sensitive man. In other words, We've lost our balls.